بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ یور ویری ویلکم بیک ٹو دا لرن ڈیلی فزکس ٹوڈے وی ہیو اسٹارٹیڈ دا نیو لیکچر سیریز نیوکلیئر فزکس اینڈ ان نیوکلیئر فزکس وی ہیو اسٹارٹیڈ دا چیپٹر آف بیسک پراپرٹیز آف نیوکلیس یو کین سی آن یور اسکرین سو وی ہیو سم ٹرمنالوجیز بیسک ٹرمنالوجیز for these properties when we are going to study the properties of nucleus like nucleus size or binding energy or we have other basic properties like their spin their magnetic dipole their electric quadrupole movement so we have to keep some terminologies in our mind basic terminologies in our mind these terminologies are important for you because if you are going for a job for a job interview then your interview can ask you this question these questions from the nuclear physics nuclear physics is a conceptual course so it it have a lot of concept in it so your in, interview can ask you many questions from these topics so you have to understand everything very concisely and you have to understand everything so pay attention we are starting our lecture today so first of all we are going to discuss the terminologies which are involving for the nucleus which are involving in the nucleus size nucleus size so the density of the nucleus the first thing we are going to say is density of nucleus the density of the nucleon nucleons means the proton and the neutron they are collectively called nucleons so the density of nucleons are relatively constant what does this mean that relatively constant for a short distance beyond which they drop rapidly to zero for example you have a sack of stones sack of stones one stone is relatively constant then a space come and other stone is again relatively constant you have one stone here then another one here here it will drop to zero the density will drop between there you have a free space and here it will drop to zero so the density of nucleon is just like a sack of stone where the density increases the central value is maximum then you go you got free space your density drops to zero the next point we have is the density of the nucleons and the nuclear potential have the similar spatial dependence what is the spatial dependence that the x dependence on x y z space coordinates that the nuclear density of the nucleons and the potential nuclear potential have sp same spatial coordinates dependence they depend same they de depend in a similar way on x y z coordinates so to categorize their nuclear shape we have main two parameters the first one is called mean radius while the other one is called skin thickness so we go to the mean radius what is a mean radius mean radius is the radius where the density is half of its maximum value density is half of its maximum value the main thing what rutherford did was he compared density with radius he tried to make assumption for the radius he tried to calculate the assumed value of radius it was not accurate so we can say that it was nearly 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 equal to the actual radius but he compared density nuclear density with the nuclear radius 
because the density is not constant so it is more convenient to tell them in the form of density so what was mean radius that it was the half of its maximum value for example if we look in this graph here it has a maximum value we have a graph of density rho versus radius r so here the density is maximum and the half of this value is here and from this we can calculate the radius r it goes here to the radius r and this r radius is known as the mean radius so let's go to the skin thickness what is the skin thickness so we say that it is the thickness over which the density drops near to its maximum value to to the minimum value if you look your density when you go to the core the density gets maximum its central value here when you get maximum to the minimum here if you go to its core r the density gets maximum and from that maximum you go to the boundary the, the density gets minimum so the skin thickness you if you consider a nucleon or at the outer surface you have a nucleon thick surface its thickness is known as skin thickness just like your skin you have a skin on your on your hand on your body nucleus also have a skin of nucleons and its thickness is known as nucleon thickness or skin thickness nucleon skin you can also call it nucleon skin so these were some things some terminologies you have to understand first and after that we have two kind of distributions the first distribution is the distribution of nuclear charge and the second distribution is the distribution of nuclear matter first we have to look at nuclear charge and when we talk about charge we have a concern of coulomb so coulomb it is the measure of coulomb interaction that we we use coulomb force here f is equals to k q1 q2 over r but in this case the distribution of the nuclear matter we use nuclear forces we use strong nuclear forces the force is present between nucleons one nucleon and the other nucleon they are strong nuclear forces how rutherford get that there is a strong rutherford was the one who discovered nucleus and then he studied its matter that whether it's a lump of so lump of a soil or it is made up of something if you break a lump of soil you will get the same material where you had you have same material here you have same material here if you break some stone you will have same material here but you have and you have same material here but if that stone is made up of different things when you will break it you will get different things here different things here so in the case of nucleus when you break nucleus you get a proton a neutron and some particles so rutherford tried to try to examine nucleus and rutherford did distribution of nuclear matter here rutherford scattering Rutherford the one Rutherford was the one who did experiment for the distribution of nuclear matter the distribution of nuclear charge primarily this distribution shows the distribution of proton but also some involving neutrons it means that primarily as i told you before that it deals with the charges neutron is not a charged particle it's a neutral particle so we cannot get the distribution we cannot measure the distribution for neutron but in the case where it's involving with that with that proton 
we get a localized picture of it. We can also use we used experiments experiments we use in this distribution is high energy electron scattering amionic x-rays energy difference of mirror nuclei in the high energy electron scattering you know that we have two accelerate we have an accelerator energy accelerator which accelerates electron those as it gets acceleration it gets kinetic energy higher the kinetic energy higher it will strike more so suitable deflection makes the picture and we read that picture we make graph from that and we can calculate the size of nucleus we have another procedure here amionic x-rays energy difference of mirror nuclei so the thing involving in the distribution of nuclear matter is Rutherford scattering you know Rutherford scattering what was Rutherford scattering alpha particle was bombarded were emitted on gold foil and from that gold foil they scattered and which was known as Rutherford scattering you also know this you also know the procedure of alpha decay this Rutherford scattering and the alpha decay are related with each other how they are related when you give more energy to the alpha particle when you accelerate that alpha particle coming from the source it gets so much energy that it get into the nucleus when it get into the nucleus it gets trapped where it get trapped it gets trapped to the strong nuclear force because of the strong nuclear force that strong nuclear force hold it together and when it escapes from that nucleus though that phenomena is known as alpha decay alpha alpha particle come goes into the nucleus and when it escapes those that escape of alpha particle is known as alpha decay so this was the main these were the main terminologies that we have discussed today to understand nuclear size these terminologies are so important to understand that we cannot move further without knowing this so our today's lecture is over now and thank you very much for your time if you like my video and if you're liking my other videos you better subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon and comment if you have any problem thank you very much for your time and assalamu alaikum